This is an instructional video about how to put on, take off, and reuse personal protective equipment outside of typical medical settings. As non-healthcare workers, you should wear a gown, gloves, surgical mask, and face shield when you plan to spend greater than 10 minutes at less than 6 feet with clients who have been exposed, diagnosed, or suspected of COVID. For example, providing caregiving services to clients in isolation and quarantine areas, or conducting field-based screening with symptomatic clients. If you interact with clients who have COVID-19 symptoms or have been exposed to COVID-19, try to maintain six feet of distance at all times and wear simply a surgical mask and gloves to conserve PPE and reduce your risk of exposure. Now we will go over the best practices for putting on, taking off, and reusing personal protective equipment. Christian Paz, CMA from the Star Clinic, will be demonstrating for us today. First, we're going to talk about hand washing technique. You must either use hand soap with water or 60% minimum alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Start by rubbing your palms together, then move to the back of your hand. Make sure to get both hands. Then do your fingertips against the opposite palm. Make sure to get both hands. Then you want to do each finger individually and finish with your wrists. Finally, Christian does a move I like to call the octopus. Let's review. We have the front of the hand, the back of the hand, fingertips, each finger, and finally your wrists. Now we're going to show you how to put on clean, brand new personal protective equipment. Let's break this down into four steps. First, you're going to put on your gown. Make sure that you get your finger through the thumb hole if your gown has one. Once the gown is over the front of your body, tie behind you a knot just like your shoelaces so that the gown is easy to remove later when it's dirty. Step two of four is your mask. Make sure you're putting the correct side of the mask against your face. Loop it over your ears, drag the bottom part of the mask over your chin, and then fit the rigid band at the top against your nose. If it's at the bottom, the mask is upside down. Step three, face shield. Holding the strap, put it over the back of your head and then adjust the front of the mask to rest comfortably against your forehead. Step four, gloves. Make sure that the gloves go over your gown at the wrists. Now you're ready to see the patient. Now we'll tell you how to take off personal protective equipment with a plan to reuse. There will be four steps. First, you want to remove your gloves. Before you remove your gloves, you need to pop open the top of your gown if it's new. Grab the front of your gown and make a muscle man pose. Also, make sure that you untie the back of your gown before you take off the gloves but don't take the whole gown off yet. The key to removing dirty gloves is to touch dirty surfaces to dirty surfaces. And clean surfaces to clean surfaces. Once you're finished using the gloves, throw them away immediately. Don't reuse gloves. After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. Step two, removing your gown. Remember, you should have already untied your gown in step one before removing your gloves. If you plan to reuse your gown, you want to try your best to touch only the inner surfaces as you take it off. Think of the outer surfaces as contaminated and the inner surfaces as clean. Once it's off, hold the gown inside out so that the contaminated part is only touching itself.
After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. Step 3. Face Shield Touching only the straps, lift the face shield off your head. Take special care not to touch the plastic part of the shield to anything. After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. Step 4. Mask. Using clean hands, reach behind your head and grab only the straps. Peel it away from your face, then flip the mask over and pinch the inner part of the mask that was just touching your mouth. Fold the mask in half with the contaminated outer mask on the inside of the fold. Find a paper envelope and deposit the folded mask into the paper envelope. Make sure to write your name on it and never share your mask. After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. Now we're going to talk about N95s. Make sure to put your N95 on in the proper sequence for new or reused personal protective equipment. Make sure to wash your hands using proper technique before beginning. Using clean hands or gloves, touch only the inner mask and the straps. Place the lower mask against your chin, pull the lower strap over your head and let it rest against your neck. Then pull the upper strap over the back of your head above your ears. Adjust the fit using only the straps and never touch the front of the mask. The N95 needs to fit to your face securely because it is filtering all air that you are breathing in and out. Reserve your N95 for splash or spray activities, like cleaning the room or bathroom of a suspected COVID case. When you're removing the N95 with intention to reuse, begin with clean hands or gloves. Pull the mask away from your face to create a little bit of space for you to get your other hand under the straps. Slide your hand to the back of your head, pulling the straps away, and then lift the whole mask over your head. Holding the mask by the straps, slowly lower it into an open paper bag taking care not to touch the front of the mask to any surfaces except the bottom of the bag. To take the mask back out of the bag, do the same process in reverse. Due to scarcity, you may need to reuse your personal protective equipment. Start by washing your hands. Then step one, put your gown on. Make sure to touch only the inside of the gown since the outside is contaminated from previous use. Don't tie the knot yet. We're going to do that later. After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. Step two, mask. You should only reuse the mask that you yourself wore before. Grab the mask from the envelope, taking care to only touch the clean surfaces. Bring the mask to your face and place the loops over your ears. Don't fit the mask to your face just yet. After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. Step three, face shield. Take the straps of the face shield and touching only the straps, place it over your head. After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. Step four, gloves. Never reuse old gloves. Take a new pair of gloves and make sure to put them over the sleeves of your gown. Now, very carefully fit your face mask. Pull the bottom over your chin and then fit the rigid band to your nose. Touch only the mask, not your face and not the face shield. Then, as the last step, you can tie the back of your gown. Tie it like a shoelace so that it's easy to untie later. Now your gloves are contaminated, but you can wash them or sanitize them just like you would with bare hands. Use the same technique.
There are many things you shouldn't do with personal protective equipment. Don't wash single-use masks, it will degrade the fibers. Don't manhandle your face shield, you risk contamination. Don't take off your face shield by grabbing the visor for the same reason. Don't ever touch the front of the N95, and don't pull it down from your face to take a break. You're going to contaminate the inside of the N95. Don't take it off like this to drink water or have a conversation. It will contaminate the N95. Don't touch the contaminated front of the N95 followed by the clean interior or straps of the N95. Make sure your gloves go over your gown and you never have a gap between the gown and the gloves. Don't store your mask in a Ziploc bag because moisture can damage the mask fibers. Never reuse gloves. Always use a new pair of disposable gloves. Due to equipment scarcity, we're reusing face shields. Here's how to clean your face shield. Use wipes that you would use to disinfect any surface or a spray with towels. Using clean hands or gloves, begin by wiping the inner shield thoroughly. Then flip the shield around and wipe the outer shield. After each step, make sure to wash your hands using the proper technique. 